the B urges teachers to key into Governor Saludo's vision towards positioning education sector. Final auditioning for Anambra Shined Light reality TV show enters the final stage in Oka. Standards Organization of Nigeria urges manufacturers to carry out quality assurance procedures. From the foreign scenes, tornado kills five people in China. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values that's giving maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Uche Chuku Ibonam. The Executive Chairman, Anambra State Universal Basic Education Board, ASBEB, Dr. Vera Wadunobi, says Governor Chukuma Soludo has larger law plans for schools in Anambra State in the 2023 come 2024 academic session, which will be unveiled soon. Dr. Wadunobi, who stated this during her on the spot assessment of some primary schools in Oka, warned that any head teacher or teachers who refuses to key into the new system will be left behind. Education correspondent Quinn Anibog completes the story. While restating that upgrading of schools in the state is the top priority of Soludo administration, the ASUPEP chairman noted that the governor also has plans to recruit more teachers to match his works with actions. She described teachers as swindle parents and charged them to instill good morals and values in their peoples to help shape their future and make them great. Without education, the nation will not prosper. Without proper basic education, Anambra State will not achieve its objectives. Our public public schools is now our major prerogative, as directed by Mr. Governor, Professor Charles Chukuma Solido. He wants to upgrade our public public schools to a, a standard that will be enviable. In his remarks, the head teachers of All Saints Primary School, Ame Nyoka, Mrs. Ngozi Oti, and Mrs. Patricia Onyekwelo of State Model School, Oka, thanked the ASPEP chairman for the visit and promised to make amends in areas where they were premanded. We are very happy and we appreciate her coming. We never expected her, but she surprised us. And we are very happy. We pray that God continue to strengthen her and give her the more knowledge and understanding this work which God has given to her. May God bless her in Jesus' name. And we appreciate all of you. I am very happy. And I have learned a lot from her. And I have learned my mistake. So I will change. I will change immediately. Thank you. Primary schools visited were Udozo Memorial Primary School, Tate Model Primary School, Amamife Primary School, and Ezioka Primary School, all in Oka. During the visit, ABS observed that some of the schools were writing their corridor tests. Meanwhile, ABS also visited All Saints Seminary School and Central School, all in Ekulobia, where students and pupils were busy writing resumption tests. The principal of All Saints Seminary, Ekulobia, Reverend Canon Obiora Mbwemena highlighted the plans of the school's management for the new academic section to include improving on the academic moral and spiritual lives of their students, which he said are their core values. Reverend Canon Mbwemena further added that they also have plans to digitize their classroom teaching and engage the students more in extracurricular activities in line with the Healthy Living Initiative of Mrs. Nonye Soludo, which he said will help them keep students fit. This academic session we have uh, some visions which we want to achieve. We want to see an improved moral and spiritual life of our students. That's our core vision to be achieved this session. We want to digitalize our classroom teachings. A teacher, Mrs. Chiwe Akwa, expressed the readiness of Anambra State teachers for the new section and advised parents to give the teachers the need support for them to achieve their collective goals. The third stage and final auditioning for the Anambra Shine the Light reality TV show is going on in Oka. The 21 contestants who would compete for the ultimate prize have been selected 
and the organizers promised action-packed activities during the sessions. Correspondent Kenetuku Chukode brings more details. The reality television show, which seeks to discover and harness talents in the participants, has gone through initial first and second stages of auditioning to prune down the number of contestants and finally select the 21 participants that would be part of the show. The Commissioner for Information, Anambra State, Mr. Paul Ngosu, who was part of the audience at the auditioning, together with the Managing Director of ABS, Sachido Ubidiegu, observed that the show is one of a kind, aimed at showcasing the cultural heritage of Anambra while also harnessing the raw talents abound in the state. Anambra Shine, the light reality TV show, is peculiar to us. It's aimed at uh, showcasing our culture, and tradition in peculiar Anambra style. The director of program department of ABS, Mrs. Neka Ekunife, noted that it's been rigorous pruning down the number of contestants for the show, given the level of creativity on display, and reviewed that those selected with for 60 days at the reality TV show house give their very best for a winner to emerge. We have from the last uh, second audition, we had quite a lot of uh, our contestants that got the yes card, you know. Anambra youth, something is happening. They are so talented so it's going to is kind of a, a very radius uh, tax for the judges you know trying to get 21 from the over uh, 98 or something so but at the end of the day i think we get there also speaking, Mr. Hiro Ude of Akembo Land Productions, the key partner of the reality TV show, said the show is living up to its aims and objectives and will be action-packed when it finally commences as it will showcase the culture and heritage of Anambra. This is the final stage. From this stage, anybody that cross over, we enter into the house. I think today, today and tomorrow we'll produce the 21 finalists that we are, look, we are, we are looking for. The contestants who displayed their skills in singing, dancing, acting, physical fitness, spoken words, poetry, and hosts of others either got a yes or a no card from the three judges to be selected or be out of the show. Some of those who got a yes card from the judges and will be among the final 21 contestants, including Mr. Emmanuel Okunkwo, who displayed physical fitness, Miss Robinson Chinonyalum, who performed spoken words poetry, and Mr. Precious Ude, who performed a song, expressed happiness for being amongst the final 21 contestants and expressed readiness for the show. In Oka, it's been Kenetuku Tukwodi for ABS News. The Anambra State Road Traffic Management Agency, ATMA, has completed the installation of the Government House bus stamp. We have details. According to the statement signed by the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the agency, Engineer Emeka Okonkwo, the bus stop is located by the service lane of the Enugu Onicha Expressway beside the Anambra State Government House, adding that directional signs have been fixed 50 meters before the bus stop to pre-inform road users. According to the statement, commercial vehicle drivers are henceforth advised not to pull over in front of the Anambra State Government house to pick or drop passengers as it is strictly a turn zone and fines applied for defaulters. Passengers are to walk up to the bus stop to catch commercial vehicles and not to stand by the expressway to avert the numerous accident cases recorded in the past. The statement further added that the installation of the bus stop is in line with the desire of Governor Chukuma Soludo to transform Anambra State into a livable and prosperous homeland. It also appreciated governor so it also appreciated the governor's support and promised to ensure that Anambra roads are always safe and traffic free. Anambra State Chapter of the Police Officers' Wives Association, POA, has commenced a two-week training and empowerment of its members with skills that will make them self-reliant. Over 100 members of the association will benefit from the program, which is holding at Amobia. Chibuzo Obideke has details. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the training and empowerment program, the Commissioner of Police, Anambra State, Mr. Aderemi Adoye, pledged 
the continuous support of the state command to the association and announced a cash reward of 250,000 naira each to best three trainees and to give another 1 million naira to any of the three who after six months is seen to be doing well in the business. Mr. Adoye said the capacity building program is a step in the right direction and urged participants to be committed to the training as according to him, it will be an impactful experience. He also promised that the command will partner with POWA to set up an interest-free loan to help them finance their businesses. Skills are taught and learned. So it has to be taught and you have to learn it. I want to tell you that it is from the beginning of training that those who will succeed will be separated from those who will fail. In her address of welcome, the chairperson of the association, Bolanle Adoye, said that the skill acquisition initiative will be beneficial to their members and will help them reduce their financial difficulties. Mrs. Adoye, who is also the wife of the Anambra State Commissioner of Police, added that the capacity building program is in line with the three points agenda of the power president, Mrs. Elizabeth, which include education, health care, and better life for all. She assured that the association will partner with private enterprise for the implementation of the program for the benefit of their members, some of whom have children and other dependents to cater for. These skills will be a great value to our members for both private and commercial use. If we empower our members to be productive and help them to earn it an income. One of the trainers, Mr. Charles Okusa, assured the command that at the end of the training program, the members of POWA will be employers of labor and asked participants for total commitment for the actualization of the fund spent on the training. We will be learning the pragmatic approach to perfume making, car wash, liquid soap, and Zao called Jamisite. Then this infectant called <laughs> From the police area command, Amobia, Chibuzo Obidike, ABS News. A one day sensitization on climate change, women empowerment, and healthcare delivery have ended with a call on women to promote self hygiene and live healthy. The sensitization program, part by the Millennium Mission for Hope and Care International, in collaboration with Global Health Action, a U.S.-based non-governmental organization focused on financial independence, education and health care for women and children, as well as exposing the women on their rights and access health care services. The uh, program took place at Igwe Ostadim Mawokere's Palace at Chala, Okanal's council area. Correspondent Amaka Chibuzo Okoye has details. Women of different age brackets, including nursing mothers, converged on the venue to learn the new tips on women's health, addressing the women, the wife of the traditional ruler of Achala, Mrs. Tiffany Mukede, urged the women to take issues concerning their health status seriously, explaining that women are peculiar creatures who bear children and manage the homes as such, exposing their body to physical, emotional, and mental stress and changes. Mrs. Mukede noted that the orientation will go a long way to ease their burden and improve their mental health. Yeah, we are trying to sensitize and uh, give orientation and uh, empowerment to the women to ease the burden. Uh, to ease some of their uh, burden. So that's our own way of trying to reduce, reduce <laughs> their mental health issues. The coordinator and founder of the Millennium Mission for Hope and Care International, Mrs. Henrietta Anene, said they are running a campaign called One Million Campaign, which gets towards encouraging women to be self reliant and financially dependent, seek access to health care. Mrs. Anene expressed hope that the sensitization program has left great impact on the women and that it is now expected that the women 
we begin to put into practice all the land. The Journal Mission for Home and Care International currently running a campaign, Empower one, 1 Million Women campaign here in Anambra State, Achala to be precise. We want empower women in the area of you know, being financially independent, we want to empower them on access to care, as well as um, being aware of the effect of climate change here in Anambra State. On her part, the Women President General of Umwada Achala Mrs. Nkechinyere Ngoye thanked the organizers of the program for the initiative and said that with the knowledge, the women will become more efficient in their daily activities by practicing all they have learned. So I believe that if we are empowered, I believe that something good will come and, we'll be, and women will be self-independent, they will be independent. So that's all I believe. And I pray that God will make this uh, occasion. I pray that the, this occasion will not die like that. It will go higher and higher in Jesus' name. Amen. The program witnessed inauguration of climate change warriors to continue the sensitization beyond the one-day program. From Achala, Oka North Council area, Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. Still to come in the news tonight. Standards Organization of Nigeria urges manufacturers to carry out quality assurance procedures. Tornado kills five people in China. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values that give him maximum support for the task ahead. The news returns shortly after the break. Look at these high quality Quaker oats. Delicious in taste, good source of fiber and energy. There is no denying, Quaker Oats is an amazing start to your day. Quaker Oats, goodness that lasts. Are you toothpaste? Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection. Why are we changing our toothpaste? Because with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, I can be sure your teeth are cavity free. When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavity. Colgate is the world's most chosen toothpaste. Colgate locks calcium in... Keeps cavities out! The new Colgate Mini Pack is now available at just 300 Naira. Look at these high-quality Quaker Oats. Delicious in taste, good source of fiber and energy. There is no denying, Quaker Oats is an amazing start to your day. Quaker Oats, goodness that lasts. Cowbellpedia has been showcasing the smartest kids from around the country. And now, Cowbellpedia is back. With me, Linda Ejofo Suleiman as your new host. And me, Ebuka Obi Uchendu as the quiz master with 14 weeks of pure genius featuring the best of the best 132 students plus new and exciting subject areas for more information visit cowbellpedia.tv cowbellpedia so good so smart look at these high quality quaker oats Delicious in taste, good source of fiber and energy. There is no denying, Quaker Oats is an amazing start to your day. Quaker Oats, goodness that lasts. Welcome back to the rest of the news. Director General, Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON Farouk Salim, has advised manufacturers to standardize their products and carry out necessary quality assurance procedures for the best quality to promote economic growth. Salim said this during a one-day general sensitization workshop organized by SON with the theme, Promoting Exports and Economic Growth Through Standardization and Quality Assurance in Nigeria. Salim, who was represented by the South South Regional Director, Mr. Usman Mohammed, said the major problem with the rejection of Nigeria's exports is due to a lack of standards. He, is, he stressed that for products from manufacturers in the country to be accepted in international markets, they must ensure the quality and standards of the products meet global standards. Ogidi Catholic community has celebrated one of their indigenous, indigenous priests, very reverend father, Brigadier General Sebastian Emeke Okwe, as he marks his golden jubilee priestly anniversary. The first giving mass heralding the memorial event held at Our Lady of Assumption Parish Ogidi was a testimony of the milestone commitment in the Lord's vineyard. 
staff reporter or the Naka Wallace tells us more. The Reverend Fademek Ekwe, who is a retired Brigadier General in the Nigerian Army, was ordained priest in 1973, and his pastoral activities took him to many parts of the country and beyond. Having attained the rank of Brigadier General and Director of Chaplain Services, he is also the only survivor among his contemporaries. In his homely, a visiting priest, Reverend Father Michael Okoye, encouraged Christians to hold on to God's promises and have total trust in God. He highlighted on the exemplary attributes and unprecedented achievements of the celebrant in his pastoral ministry. Adding that Golden Jubilee is an act of gratitude to God and celebration of accomplishments. <laughs> The celebrant in an interview appreciated God for giving him sufficient grace to serve. Bravo. Bravo. The traditional ruler of Ogidi, Iwe Alex Onido, applauded the dedication and exemplary services to God and humanity of the celebrant. At the reception held in the celebrant's family compound, Reverend Father Emeke Ekwe was surrounded by friends, relatives, and well wishers who came to rejoice with him. The Ogidi Catholic community, led by the parish priest of Our Lady of Assumption Parish, Reverend Father Dr. Aloysius Abwa, all elogized the celebrant's vision and exemplary services to God. In oh. their goodwill messages, the chief executive officer, St. Charles Borromeo Hospital, Reverend Father Izuchuku Okonko, said that the celebrant is a true Nigeria who served across different tribes and wished him well. Scores of relatives who spoke to the ABS, including Dr. Paul Mwadika, Chief Emeka Abba, and Chief Chris Onwudiwe, prayed God to strengthen and protect him. Presentation of gifts by various groups, anthem by the choir, cultural display by the Catholic Men Organization and Catholic Women Organization, and cotton of Jubilee Cake featured at the event, while unveiling of 159th page book titled Ibando in Igbo Land, written by the celebrant, climaxed the event. From Our Lady of Assumption Parish, Ogidi. From the foreign scenes, China has warned of more dead bad weather ahead after a tornado ripped through an eastern city, killing at least five people and injuring four. The tornado hit Sukran in Jiangsu province, according to state broadcaster CCTV. It was the latest in a series of extreme weather events to hit the country. The tornado was brief but fierce, with social media images showing overturned cars, power lines and trees lining the streets and roofs ripped apart. State media said more than 5,500 people had been affected by the tornado and 1,800 homes were damaged or destroyed. High winds and, ter and torrential rain also destroyed fields of crops. Weather warnings also went out for the southwestern region of Xiongqing, several areas in southwestern Zhonghao, southern Hunan, eastern Anhao, and central Hubei. China saw record-breaking downpours and weeks of historic heat the seas this summer, with scientists saying the wild weather was being excavated by climate change. From the world of sports, Victor Simeon is set for his 20th European Continental Game when Napoli bids to make the perfect start to the Champions League group stage campaign when they travel to Braga. 
Simhe has so far played 19 matches in European club competitions, netting twice in five Champions League matches for former club LOSC Lila before joining Napoli in the summer of 2020. Since making the move to Napoli, the Nigerian striker has scored four goals and made an assist in eight Europa League outings. The Nigerian international striker has also found the back of the net five times in six Champions League appearances for the Pato Nepe. But as Napoli faces Braga at the Estadio Municipal de Braga, the Simeon will go all out to help his club secure victory in their group opener. The 24-year-old will also be eager to put an end to a two-game goal drought, having failed to net in a 2-1 defeat against Lajo and last weekend's 2-2 draw with Genio in the Syria A. Before we go, remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS TV from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at ABS Television Oka. We are on Twitter at ABS Radio TV. Also, we are on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website at www.ebsradiotv.com. Now, on the main stories that made news this evening. ASBEB Chairman Dr. Wadunobi has urged teachers to key into Governor Saludo's vision towards repositioning the education sector. Final auditioning for an Amra Shine the Light reality TV show has entered final stage in Oka. Standards Organization of Nigeria has urged manufacturers to carry out quality assurance procedures. And from the foreign scenes, we told you that Tornado has killed five people in China. Governor Chu Masaludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Nambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. It's giving maximum support for the task ahead. And that's all on the news tonight. My name is Uche Chugu Ibanam. Good night.